Welcome back to Centennial Center, ladies and gentlemen, as the Bobcats suffer a tough loss here. They dropped the fifth set 15 to 13, but you gotta like the effort from the Bobcats absolutely, tonight, Justin. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it really showed after a, a, a really disappointing loss at Augusta, you know, the, Pan the Jaguars, excuse me, come to the Centennial Center and, you know, the Bobcats really bared their fangs and showed their claws and, you know, gave them a great fight in this cat little battle here going on this evening. Now look at a little bit of the stats here. Uh, first for the uh, victors, that's GRU Augusta, they were led in the kills. They had three players in double-digit kills. Uh, Jenna Keeler and Paige Tuttle both with 14. And Kristen Koch with 13. They had 61 kills total for Georgia College. Two players in double digits, Rachel Reynolds with 15. And Caroline Long with 10 for 46 total for the Bobcats. Uh, the Bobcats had 64 digs compared to the Jaguars 68. And in the block category, the Jaguars rattled off 20 to the Bobcats only 14. The Bobcats only hit 111 in the match today and that won't get it done as GRU Augusta hit 231 and took this match in five sets. Absolutely, absolutely. Once again, you know, such a close match. But, you know, seeing some of these numbers of the kills for the Bobcats, two players in double digits. Um, also, Willoughby almost number 13 in double digits as well. It's, you know, just really an improvement, I feel, from definitely where the season has started. Yeah, the Bobcats definitely definitely looking a lot better than they did earlier in the season. This is going to move the Bobcats to 5-23 and 23 overall and down to 2-16 and 16 in the Peach Belt Conference. Uh, GRU Augusta now 8-24 and 24 overall, and they are 2-16 and 16 in the Peach Belt Conference as well. This is both teams' final game in the conference, so they will tie for ninth in the Peach Belt Conference. Uh, as we're waiting on Coach Crumdick to arrive here, we're going to take another short break, but we're going to be right back as Justin will conduct a coach's interview with Coach Crumdick. You're listening to Bobcat Volleyball on Ustream. And we are back with Bobcat, Bobcat Volleyball, excuse me, at the Centennial Center. I've got Coach Crumdick after just a really, really, really close loss against the Jaguars, Coach. How do you feel about this loss, but such a great improvement with your team considering the first game? Yeah, you know, is that one hard to take? Yep, that, one, that, one, that one's kind of hurt a little bit. But it's a learning lesson and it's a learning process. And I guarantee we're not going to be in that situation again. Uh, you know, we were up big and we let them get back in and, and they shouldn't have. And so we're, we're really working towards that. So sometimes things like this, it reinforces what we talk about in practice and uh, just kind of shows, you know, we, when we're doing this in practice, we need to actually, let's execute, so. Absolutely, absolutely. And actually, looking at the stylus here, it looks like we had two players in double digits on the kills. Uh, Rachel Reynolds, of course, mm -hmm. and Caroline Long, and also almost Blake Willoughby really stepped up and showed some aggression and some physical play over here on their kills at the net. Sure, yeah, the, you know, the, they've been working really hard. Uh, and we've been doing some different things in practice to kind of make them work a little bit harder and push hard. So, you know, it's, it's really great to see these numbers improve every time we step on the court, regardless of the win-loss and whatever the scoreboard says. Our numbers are constantly getting better. So that is really just, it's really encouraging for us uh, and it's encouraging for them. So it, it shows that our hard work is paying off. Yeah, it does. No, great game, good, good game. And about halfway through the fourth set, I saw Michaela Patterson, you know, go down, look like she was mm -hmm. holding her wrist, look like she was in some physical pain. Do you think that kind of messed with her play, you know, kind of got into the players' heads, you know, someone was going down, such a great setter like Michaela? Right. You know, so it, it happens, you know, when, you're, when you run in and collide to one of your teammates and you're not expecting it, it, it rocks you a little bit. And, and it does rock us a little bit as, as a team, but uh, we're, we're tough cookies and, and we're going to get out there and battle again. That's great. And then at the half, you know, went 1-1 into the bigger break. What are some of the words you had for your players, you know, in between that half to really rally them to take it to the fourth game, get that win in the third, and then, you know, go, end up going to the fifth game? I think it was just a lot of, we talk about having heart, we talk about uh, having excitement, giving the fans a show, and, and that's what they did. And they came out in set three and, and really lit it up, and so that was, that was great for us to do that. Uh, in set four, I think we just got a little too comfortable in it and, and didn't push all the way through. So we're getting there. Absolutely, absolutely. One more game for you guys. And, you know, just kind of closing up the season this year. Yeah. You know, great effort. It's great to see Georgia College volleyball team play so well against such an opponent who had done so well against them. They kind of came right. out and swung away at him here yeah. at home. Yeah, you know, Saturdays are, we're uh, whiting, white out to wipe out cancer, and we've got a lot of fun events and our three on three tournament. and. We're selling T-shirts and and just um, we got a lot of fun things planned. So I'm excited for this, and 
using our sport to, to raise money for a great cause is, is always a good thing. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Coach Krumnick. Once again, this has been Georgia College Volleyball. I'm Justin Peacock. You've been watching live on Ustream.